and thank you for listening to the Jesus is Greater podcast. Jesus is Greater than Anything podcast. It's a blessing to have. I want to bring up some things that are going on in the culture right now in America. One is the revolution against children, this transgender revolution against children, which clearly goes against the truth, goes against what God has revealed in the Bible. The other one is protecting women from men who pretend to be women. So we're going to begin with, I want to call fathers, dads, all you godly men out there, I want to challenge you. Are you protecting your children? You are called by God, the God of the Bible, to protect your children. That's your job. Are you being a coward? Are you acquiescing to the lies that are being told to the children? Well, I want to encourage you, Dad, the Word of God is the truth. And the Word of God is supreme over the House, the United States House of Representatives. The Word of God is supreme over the United States Senate. The Word of God is supreme over Washington, D.C., and the Pentagon, and the DOJ, and the DOD, and the White House the executive branch. The Word of God prevails. God is sovereign over all. The Lord Jesus Christ is presently alive, and He sits at the right hand of God. So, godly men, dads, are you protecting your children? We cannot be cowards. It is time to be courageous. It is time to stand up in love and in peace. Listen, godly men need to stand up and protect our children. That's what we need to do. And I am excited about the godly men in this country doing just that, that we are not going to sit by and say nothing. We're going to train our children. We're going to encourage our children. We're going to remind them that they are beautiful just the way God made them. Their biological gender, their biological sex is a gift from God, Almighty God. We are created, male and female are created in the image of God. We are living souls. We are eternal. We were created to be in fellowship with God. We need to remind our children, your birth gender is a glorious gift from Almighty God, our Lord Jesus Christ, who created everything for His glory, for His purpose. The Bible says that man's wisdom is foolishness with God. That is what we see today. We see senators, representatives. We see governors. We see people running around saying that a man can be a woman or a woman can be a man. That is a lie. A biological man cannot be a woman. It goes against the Word of God. A biological female cannot be a man. It cannot happen. It will never happen. No matter what man's wisdom says, the Bible says man's wisdom is foolishness with God. And the Bible teaches that man will exchange, man has exchanged the glory of the incorruptible God for an image made like corruptible man. Professing themselves to be wise, the Bible says, they became fools. They suppress the truth in their unrighteousness. They know what's true, but they're suppressing the truth. That's what wicked people do. So, I want to encourage all the godly men to protect their children and to train their children in the truth of God's Word. And if your public school and your school district does not support the Word of God, they too are following the lie. And we as godly men need to rise up, speak the truth in love, in love and peacefully, and we need to ask and we need to demonstrate what it means to be men. What does it mean to be a man, and then we need to demonstrate what it means to be a man. A man is a leader. A man is to protect 
his children. A man is to protect his wife. So we need to get out and vote. We need to expose the lies and tell the truth in love and tell people why. Why do we stand for the truth? Because we believe in the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. That He's the only way to heaven, there's no other way to heaven, and He's the creator of all things, humanity. He's the creator of all. And we need to stand for what's right as godly men. And we need to be men. We cannot be cowards. We must be courageous. And we must tell the truth. And if people don't want to hear the truth in love, so be it. We are to tell the truth and share the truth in season and out of season. Whether one, people want to hear it or not, we are not going to live a lie. And I also want to ask you, godly men, I want to encourage the godly man. We need to protect women from men who are pretending to be women. We need to protect biological females created in the image of God to bring Christ's glory. We need to protect them. We need to protect their life from these ungodly men who pretend to be women. They are not women. They want to be in women's sports. They want to compete in women's sports. They want to be in women's restrooms. Hey, that is foolishness. That's the foolishness of men. That is men suppressing the truth and unrighteousness so they can fulfill their evil plans and schemes and desires. We need to stand up in love and peacefully communicate, no, we do not support this. We will not vote for men or women in public office who support this. We will not support governors. We will not support anyone who wants to do this. So we need to protect our children and we need to protect women. And only godly men can do that. So thank you so much for tuning in to our podcast, Jesus is Greater Than Everything. And we need to remember, godly man, godly men, we need to remember that the apostles stood up to the religious and governing authorities of their day and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. So choose you this day whom you will serve, sir. Are we going to serve the gods of this world? Are we going to serve the one true and living God, the God of the Bible, our Lord Jesus Christ, with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, no matter what? Choose you this day whom you will serve. And I want to just communicate, as for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you again for listening. God bless.